Hey, before we start with the main video, I would like to thank you the following companies for their support. They support me through the YouTube membership program that I created for companies who care about software testing and are active in supporting the testing community. Thank you once again. If you want to learn more about the supporters, check the video description down below to find the links to their products. If you miss your logo on this page, follow the QR code or send me an email. Happy testing and now back to the main video. Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel Software Testing. It's me Daniel. Happy that you're here today. You have seen the video title already. Today I would like to talk about mobile analytics and mobile analytics tools and why those tools are so important for us as software testers but also for you as a mobile developer or as a product manager. If you're following my YouTube channel for a longer time I have talked about a lot about mobile test automation tools techniques in mobile testing, techniques in software testing, but also in the regards of shifting left, uh, checking the overall process on things, right? And start early with testing, start early with quality. But I think I never talked about what happened once we have the product out of the door. So once we hit the go live button, we ship the product, no matter if it's a mobile application or it's a web application or any application. The moment you put your finger on the button saying, okay, hit production, your customers will use your product. And if you don't invest enough time in analytics tools, you don't know what's going to happen with your product on production. Is the, your KPIs, are the KPIs met, like the click-through rate? Is your, let's say, your growth um, uh, going in the, in the right direction? What about your funnel? that you have implemented in order to get more users, get more activity, and also in terms of what's going to happen with crashes and these kind of topics. But today I would like to show you nine tools that I can recommend for you to check when it comes to mobile analytics. So no crashing, no crash analytics, no nothing like that. Really tools that you can integrate into your development lifecycle as a developer, test or product manager to get some insights on the current state of your product. And this product is a mobile application. And all the tools that I'm going to mention is um, something that I have seen in the past in projects. I can recommend the tools. Uh, the tools are more or, less, more or less similar. So you really have to compare the product details, what is um, there for you in terms of the tech stack requirements, integration, APIs, access to other th services and so forth. But I will just quickly guide you through the tools that I mentioned or brought for you today, but I think are helpful in order to get better in mobile analytics or in general in analytics. So let's get right into the video. And as always, like in the video, like as always, check the video description down below. I'll put all the links to the, to the tools that I'm going to show you right now there for you to follow up. So enjoy. So the first product that I'm going to show you today is called Mixpanel. And it has progress as possible, a simple and powerful product analytics that helps everyone make better decisions. And this is, I'm scrolling down the fancy, fancy web page. So what you can do is the moment you integrate the Mixpanel SDK to your product, you can get in, uh, ideas about your product like in this case, book trips, some metrics that you can define. You can make decisions out of the analytics you can see an outcome, how many people searched for something, how many did something and so forth. And you can see uh, here's also a quick, uh, quick overview of the analytics tools, what you can do. I mean, what, what is always important to know when you would like to introduce an analytics tool, it requires some integration, some checkups and how the SDK can be added to your product. In this case, it can also be used on, on web and mobile. Um, so it's not usually not the case that you just download something in SDK, put it to your environment, to your to your um, development um, code base, and it's up and running. No, you have to first evaluate the tools, then get into the, the SDK implementation, and then of course also in the in the user front end to see like how can you configure the, the tool in order to give you the best possible insights. Yeah, and this is the as you can see some example about Mixpanel. Um, and going already to the next tool. The next tool that I would like to show you, I mean, it's the most obvious when you work with mobile, mobile apps, it's Firebase. It's a Google product, but it can also be used by uh, iOS applications, iPad applications. And yeah, it's basically 
uh, you can not only like build, release and monitor your app with Firebase, but you can also see like engage, you can check the analytics, you can do A-B testing, messaging campaigns and whatnot. So this is really cool. Also what I really like about the Firebase um, uh, stuff is it has a really well documentation, really good documentation as you can see already here. See like a authentication new user in Swift and different programming languages. Also like to log a new custom analytics event, something that you can put into your code already and to see what's going to happen. And that that's really cool. And I bet also they're over here, they have a little demo. Let me quickly check, there was a demo button, learn more few solutions, now I can't see it anymore, I'm blind. There is a demo, you can try out a demo here. So you click over there and they build up like a demo project. So you get some introduction. And now it's, it's switched to English, we uh, switched to German, we have to switch to English. So it's now preparing a product. We can create a product. We can also see like an example product. Always would like to me to, to watch the video up front. And um, so yeah, th this is what you can do as well here with Firebase. It's waiting too long. Check the links down below for you to follow up. Next product is called AppRadar. Again, similar similar methodology, similar things in mind. Integrate it to your YouTube product and see what can it do for you. You can see it has a powerful dashboard for you to follow up with impressions, store views, installs, and so forth and so forth. Ad performance in case you have some ads in, inside your project to see like how it really um, behaves. And again, check it out see if it's the right tool for you. Next tool is called App Flyer and it says make good data driven choices. Similar, as I said, it's an analytics tool. Integrate the SDK and see if this brings value to your product and to your decisions that you would like to do. And also it gives you a little, a really good insight in the overall um, usage of the product, especially for software testers. When I was working embedded in a team with, with uh, mobile analytics, I was checking them on a daily basis to not only see like where are users going through the app to focus on my testing activities, but also to derive the test automation from that. So building user journeys, if I can see that most of the users go through that path, let's say let's path A, I will focus on automation path A, not path B. It helps you a lot. Yeah. Um, the fifth tool is Amplitude. Amplitude, sorry, wrong word. Yeah, same thing, integrated, see what's going to happen with your product. I, I, I was already telling you this. So amplitude.com. Um, another one is Countly. It's again, analytics you can count on, privacy, feature packed, again, used by different companies, brands. Also, if you scroll down below, you can get some, some features that you can put into it. You get some customer reviews, references, and also some um, some information about like oh, about the plans, but this is usually the case for all the products. They have more or less the same structure, like product solutions, pricing, and stuff like that. Go ahead and check it out. Um, the next one is yeah a heavy one. It's Adobe Analytics. For those of you working already in the analytics space or in the development space, um, I have seen it a lot in, in companies. Adobe Analytics from Adobe, really good tool, really powerful, really complex. Nothing that you can do like on a, on a Friday evening for none of the tools, by the way. Uh, but it gives you all the all the details that you can do, build your own custom tracking and stuff like that. Really powerful. Um, another one that I would like to highlight here is called Classbox. Um, it can also be integrated to know, you know, it says here, know what it takes to grow your digital business. Again, as I mentioned, I'm repeating myself now, all the tools are more or less, more or less the same, offering the similar features. But it, it, when it comes to SDK integration, the um, customization and stuff like that, this is something that you have to do on your own to check which tool is best for you and in your situation, for your product, your company, your tech stack, existing tooling and stuff like that. Yeah. And last but not least, um, one tool, it's called CleverTap. It's also something that you can integrate in, in now they're saying and send your customers for life. Again, to improve the overall product experience and to build a great product and also to see what's going to happen with your product. Yeah. And I think these were like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tools that I was quickly showing you today, like really like a high level overview. And I bet if you do your own research online, you will find more tools in regards to mobile app analytics or in general and software development analytics. But these are tools that I can recommend. I have seen them in projects and they are you, there for you to follow up, make your own decision, make your own research and see what fits best for your product.
And with that, we're already done for today. A quick video, a quick uh, guide through mobile applic application analytics. Let me know down in the comments below which tools are you using for app analytics and what are you doing with them? Is it just for getting better in terms of revenues, upsells, activities, KPIs? Or are you also using as a software tester the tool in order to get some more insights for your testing activities? Let me know. Happy to read to hear about it. As always, like it, share it and subscribe it to support me to grow the channel. Share it with your network. That would be really cool. And as always, thanks for coming by and have a great day.